Anything that's under a thousand, I'm not interested. Because my vision over the next 20 years is to develop 1 million homes across Sub-Saharan Africa. And that's why we're in Nigeria. Nigeria has a deficit, you know, of over, nowadays I'm so it's close to 20 million. So when we came here, very few people believed in us. They thought, oh, no, no, that's another, you know, fly by night or a 419, as we say in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, he's a scammer. You know, he's saying, no, he doesn't need any money. All he needs is just the land. Oh, give him the land, let him see. And actually, even the land that they was, I was given was all muddy. It's, you know, this is River State. River State, there's no land. So we had to sand field 650,000 cubic meters of sand. So all this was sand field. Where we're standing now, you couldn't walk like this. It was all mangroves and then it was mud and also water, two how, meters deep. How many hectares is this right now? Well, this, 40 hectares. This is the first project I've done outside of the Gambia, big project. And uh, it's in River State, in Port Harcourt, which is called the Garden City. We've built over a thousand houses, over a thousand. We have the apartments, which are about 600 and something hectares, 600 and something units. You know, then we have townhouses, we have villas. You know, in total, when everything is ready, it's over a thousand, about a thousand one hundred and so on. You know, I am a made in Gambia product. I'm an African product. Everything I, I know, everything I have, everything I've made in my life, I made it in Africa. So, and I've had that very often. People ask me, oh, who are your partners? You know, I don't need a partner. I can do probably what anybody can do who is of a different race. But in Africa today, anything big like this that you want to do, they yeah, think that it's done by somebody, as we call in Nigeria, Oibo, meaning a white guy or a Chinese. And if you look at Africa today, we need to be very careful, yeah. you know, because the African continental free trade area is on. Mm. It started 1st of January. Exactly. And it's, you're going to have a population of 1 billion people. It is, it is the biggest economy in the world. But what have we seen recently? We have seen all the big players, all the first, you know, the big players, like mm. big, com big countries, are now forging partnership with Africa. You know, Africa-China initiative, Africa-US, Africa-British, Africa Africa-Europe. Africa that is to get now Africa, you know, but these guys still coming in and, you know, controlling our economy. It is high time that as Africans, we take ownership. And we hope that the African continental free trade area will empower Africans, you know, to take over the economy of Africa. And it can be done. You know, because look, we are an African outfit. We don't see borders. And I think that's what the ACFTA is all about. about. That Africa without borders. So any African that is qualified, that can add value to what we are doing, mm. we will take you on board. Let's not wait for others to come and exploit all these opportunities. If you had one thing to change about Africa, what will it be? Leadership. The thing that is bringing Africa down is poor leadership. If our leaders do the right thing, then Africa will shoot up. So if there's one thing that we need to address, we need to address leadership.